Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I know, we're only nine days in, and I'm already losing track of um, how many days we're in. So yeah, I'm wearing my hair down today because I realized that I look so much better with the videos with my hair down. But I'm usually making the videos when I'm coming in from work, and so I have my hair pulled back when I drive the bus. Anyway, today, I'm so excited. Today, we are going to do a Royal Vintage unboxing. Now, I kind of cheated because I got these like yesterday and I looked at them because I wanted to try them on and make sure they fit as soon as I got them and they did and I'm very excited. And before I show you the new pair, I'm gonna make you guys suffer. I'm gonna show you the pair I bought last year. I, I really um, have to buy reproduction vintage or make my own reproduction vintage. There's not a whole lot I can get that's true vintage because I'm so tall, um, I'm much larger than women would have been. And I have a size 11 foot. I, I really don't think there were too many women with size 11 foots back in the day. And if they did, they had to have their shoes probably made custom. So unless I hit like B. Arthur's estate sale, I don't think I'm gonna find a lot of um, stuff that fits me. I mean, there is a possibility that if it, you know, like if I could find like a drag queen estate sale, I might be able to find some more stuff, but I, I haven't been able to do that yet. So by the way, I love drag queens. Don't think that was a cut. Love them. Anyway, so let's start with the pair I got last year. Um, I haven't bought a lot from Royal Vintage. This is only my second pair of shoes, but it looks like they have a trend that around Christmas time, they get rid of a lot of a clearance. And they may also just be doing it seasonally, like basically everybody's doing their clearance right now. They're clearing out stuff because we're gonna get into the new seasons. They're gonna bring in new stuff for spring and summer. So last year, around this time, I got at a fairly deep discount, these shoes by Royal Vintage. In fact, um, these are no longer made because they're rubber soled and not leather. And these are the Marilyn Pump. And they're very comfortable. I've only gotten to wear them once, unfortunately, and that was just because I bought them last year. I wore them to a funeral, and then we went straight into COVID lockdown, and it's not like I'm going out anywhere that I could wear these shoes. And you know what I just realized, guys? I have shoe clips. I'm going to put you guys on hold. I'm going to go get one of my shoe clips. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I bought these absolutely beautiful vintage shoe clips off of Etsy. They're so nice, aren't they? And you know, it's funny, like, here's the other one, I just have my little bag. Um, it's funny to me, like, why did we stop making these? Like, here's my plain black vintage reproduction shoe. Here's my vintage shoe clip. Let me put it in the right, in the right place. And now, it's like I have a different shoe cute that is right and like these are fascinating women used to match them to their jewelry and all kinds of stuff and I love this one it's it's obviously Bakelite I can feel it Bakelite as they call it I can feel it um and it is just I mean I don't I think these were 10 bucks on Etsy it was a very good price I've gotten some really good stuff on Etsy but I don't know can you guys see the detail of the little flowers that are on that shoe clip and then there's like a dent in here and these are just so cute so anyway i digress so these were the pair i bought last year on a deep discount these were about they weren't quite 50 they were about 40 percent off but still good deal and here's the thing i'm a size 11 they carry size 11 because i've also noticed that with some of the other retro um the reproduction shoe companies the retro and vintage like bait they don't have everything in a size 11. so now, to the new puppies, which are the, this is the name. These were, these were almost half price because these were 89 for shipping and taxes and everything. Oh, they're so pretty. I can hardly wait to wear these. You know, honestly, this whole pandemic has to end so that I can get dressed up and wear a pair of shoes like this again. Here they are, guys. First of all, look at that heel and look at that color. And then they are my absolute favorite, their peep toe. I'm gonna to put the straps back in because I tried them on so I took the straps off because 
These are not the kind you can really slide your foot into. You actually have to remove the strap. So, but I don't care because they're so beautiful. And they are a little tight, but I noticed that about these too, the other shoes. Um, they, they actually gave me a blister. The black ones gave me a blister. <clears throat> but for you guys that are young, I have to tell you that that's the way shoes used to be. All right. Oh, God, that's not going to get me this. I should put it on my foot, but I'm too lazy to like get out of my work clothes. How pretty that is. So this is the overall shot of the shoe. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, anyway, as I was saying, shoes used to be really well made. You could get them fixed. Um, they were very, when you first got shoes, the leather was so hard that they very often gave you blisters on your feet. In fact, there was even this stuff you could buy. Um, and I mean, this is well into the 90s. So this isn't that long ago that if you had leather shoes, you could spray it on it and it would help stretch the leather. And then as it dried, it would conform to your foot. And it just came in this little, like, tiny little spray bottle. You sprayed it on your shoes. Um, and that was the thing about shoes. They were made of really good leather. They were made to last. Um, the difference between the kind of stuff you find now, this is, like I was talking about thrift shopping yesterday and how it enables me to buy things that are better quality than I could actually afford. Some of the stuff I get at thrift stores, I couldn't actually find something of that quality at this point in time because they just don't make them like that anymore. Like people always joke, you know, they don't make like things like they used to, yet they really don't. Um, you know, you used to have union shops and all this other stuff. And we have, you know, fast fashion now. And fast fashion is actually the real culprit here. Um, women used to be able to go to a shop and they would like see a dress that they liked and... They could go home and think about whether they wanted to spend the money on that dress for months and then go back and buy the dress. You would go to the boutique, you tried the dress on, alterations were usually free, um, you know, and you got your dress altered. And then, but that dress was so well made that you could hand it down to your daughter or possibly your granddaughter. And that's just not the way it is anymore. I mean, that's the reason there, there is so much vintage clothing out there from all the different decades. Cause really until about the night, early nineties, I, I would say it was around mid eighties. Cause I remember clothing in the early eighties was still a lot of it was still union made in America and it was very good quality. But by the time we got to the nineties, everything was being made in China. You had these huge companies like the gap, which really pushed fast fashion. I mean, if you went to the gap and saw a sweater you liked and you didn't buy it when you were there, you could go back the next week and they'd be sold out and they'd be like, Oh yeah, we're not, we're not going to have that sweater anymore. So, I mean, but that didn't happen back in the old days. I mean, uh, there's actually a great movie called, um, oh, it's a Hitchcock movie. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but in it, they, Jimmy Stewart takes this woman um, shopping and he asks about a suit and the woman goes, oh yeah, I remember that suit. That was like two years ago and goes in the back and gets the suit because that's the way it used to be. Oh, and department stores, you didn't just go shopping. You went in and they had a whole area where you sat and they came out and modeled the clothes for you. You told They took your measurements, they found your size, they did the alterations, and then they put it in a beautiful box for you and sent it to your house. Was it expensive? Absolutely. But those are the clothes that are still around. Clothes from companies like Bonwit Teller, I find them all the time. They were so well made. So I know I digressed a lot, but that's the reason I don't get upset when these shoes hurt my feet a little bit because I know they're so well made. That's one of the reasons I know they're so well made is the leather is hard. It's not soft and it's leather. And then it's lined on the inside with suede, not plastic. It's not plastic lined, lined with more plastic. I wouldn't be surprised if someday when I die, my great niece can wear these shoes. I, I wouldn't be shocked in the least bit. And I, I hope she does. I hope she loves vintage as much as I do. I, I'm gonna die, when I die, I'm gonna leave her all my clothes because I think she's going to be tall like me. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to come up, come on and talk about um, Royal Vintage. Check out their website. They had lots of other shoes that were on clearance or on sale. Um, they had a deal I think I got free shipping on these because they were, because uh, I spent over a certain amount. I mean, it was just great. So please go check out their website. They're also a small American company, so that's kind of cool. So check out their website. I'm going to put the link to their website in the description in the show notes. And I will see you tomorrow for day 10. Yay! Bye.